Hello there. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. No matter where you're calling from, it's great to see so many of you joining us today. Some very familiar names there. If you're here every month, welcome back. Good to see you. If this is your first month, then welcome, welcome. Um, my name is Mike. I'm one of the co-founders here at Waybook. And in today's session, we will be going through Waybook product updates for April 2023. If this is your first session, then you'll know that every month we like to get together for 20 or so minutes, 20 to 30 minutes, and really explore what some of the new things are hitting your Waybook account, show you how they work in reality, how they can benefit your business knowledge, and also, we love to hear from you in terms of any new thoughts or um, requests or feedback that you have about Waybook. Now, as I can see more of you just jumping in now, I'll just kind of uh, introduce you to the other people within the room. Uh, so firstly, in the background here is the fantastic L on our side. L is in the background to answer any chat, any questions. Um, so please feel free to uh, to message anything in as as it's coming. And then also, um, please feel free to use the chat. So if you would like to say who you are and where you're from now, that would be amazing. Uh, it's always a great international crowd that we have on these. I'm actually currently in Japan at the moment, so I'm truly on the other side of the world um, to many of you in the in the US from the names that I do recognize. Um, and Elle there is in Birmingham in the UK. And then also you've got the Q&A panel, um, which you can ask any questions that you've got throughout the session. So it looks like there's a few of us here, so let's begin. Um, now, many of you know we are here to get your business on the same page. Waybook exists for you to help document all of your knowledge, your systems, your processes in a way that makes it really easy for you to become on, uh, for you to use as onboarding and training material for your team. Now, over the last month, the team has been busy as always, making sure it's easier for you to get your knowledge from all different sources, including your head onto the same page and of course making it even easier for you to put that in front of your team in really easy ways. So in today's session we are going to cover the core updates of our learning flows which has been a huge release which has come out and I know many are very excited for. Uh, we have deep links into steps, we have limitless embedding, and we also have speed improvements. Now, many of you will know that there are lots of other updates which go out over the time within the month, but these are really the core ones that we think are valuable for you to know within your account. So firstly, let's take a look at learning flows. Now, this has been something which has been hotly anticipated and much researched and, uh, and digested internally. Now, with Waybook, it's really easy for you to get all of your knowledge on the same page and then act both as your onboarding and also your single source of truth for that knowledge. As you know, it basically means that you can add people into your Waybook. They only see the knowledge and information that you want them to see. And essentially, they then work through that content um, that they can mark as complete, do the various different tests and assessments, and of course, come back to use it as their single source of truth. But we also know that when people are onboarding within their Waybook, sometimes you want not just specific information for people, but you want specific pathways or flows through that information for them to manage their onboarding, whilst maintaining the perfect content structure on your left-hand side. So currently, the order you have your content on your left-hand side is the order that the content appears for the majority of your team. So what we've decided to do is to introduce flows, which enables you to create a custom onboarding flow for a specific role or activity. Now, not only can you actually structure your subjects in an order that you want them to, you can actually add specific deadlines, uh, sort of specific documents, and soon, and I'll show you very uh, just now, specific deadlines for individual users or within their groups. So the way you do that is just 
click into the account. Um, you've already got it in all accounts on flows. And actually, if you do want access to deadlines on your flows, then you can request that to Elle and the team, and they'll be sure to get that for you. So let me show you what it looks like. Um, so I'll jump over into a, a Waybook account here. Now, this is what you'll be commonly familiar with within your Waybook account. Here, you'll be able to see that we've got our um, subjects, we've got our documents within here, and then we've also got this account nicely um, concertinaed up into six different categories there as well. Now, of course, if I add somebody into this, um, I can choose exactly what they do and don't have access to, and it will appear on the left-hand side. But what if, for example, we were onboarding somebody into sales and marketing and we wanted them to have access to the marketer, or we wanted a salesperson to have access to the marketing activity, but of course we want them to do sales before they do marketing or vice versa. So that is where you can jump yourself into flows. Now, I currently have no active flows, so of course I can toggle over into edit mode and just see what I've been cooking up here. Um, now, if I go, we can create a flow. Now, remember, flows are great for onboarding, but they're also great for training. They're also great for um, new years, uh, new quarters, new information, um, or, or if somebody switches roles internally. Now, let's create a sales onboarding flow. Um, and, you know, as always, you can put whatever you like into, into all of your, your kind of titles. Um, now, we'll give this a little description. So let's say... Uh, that this is or, or let's say that this is the sales uh manager onboarding uh flow um and now what we do is we simply just add individual documents so say for example this is for sales manager onboarding uh we can essentially say right we, of course we want them to have the background to the company and the company history um and why not let's give them the office security but straight away we want them to have information on all, all of the sales handbook let's just put that whole sales handbook in there and then actually we also want them to look at the marketing tools and the brand guidelines and then we also need them to know the um the the kind of user feedback that we have from customer support now of course we can continue to add individual documents and you'll see here that when i go into this flow all of those documents are laid out on a flow now, say, for example, we've changed our mind, we don't want office security in there, we just delete that one out there. Um, and although we've put these in, we actually don't need to have um, passing to operations just yet. Um, and so we actually just want to move that sales tools up before additional insights. And why not give them brand guidelines before they come into the sales objections? So this is actually a great way that you can add, manage, move, change individual documents these are. So that's great. This is a flow that's ready to go. We can give people access, we can activate the flow, and we can push it out to people individually. But what if we want to say, well, this is quite a lot for somebody to go through on their first day, and we think it's going to be overwhelming if they jump in and it looks like everything has to be done. What we can do is we can actually enable a deadline on that. So a deadline enables us to create individual um uh, cadence through a flow for that individual um that, that that individual group or in person that we're putting onto it now the most important thing to bear in mind here is that these deadlines unlike deadlines you're used to within your individual documents these are only activated when somebody is given access to that flow so think of it almost like their start date so say for example um julie on the call here julie is in uh, in the waybook has access to everything perhaps works in in front of house management if we then give julie access to this sales onboarding and she is given access to all of the documents the start date or this one month or two days or whatever you set is from when she gets access to that piece of information so let's say actually we don't need um we don't need days and weeks for for somebody to go through the purpose and background but actually we're going to give them uh we're going to give them seven days before they go through these guiding statements and actually let's just say all of them below here uh can can be seven days actually we'll just uh i'll tell you what I've, I've made that seven months so let's just make them all all seven days there um but we do want to make this one day here and actually this last part about the user feedback we can actually just make that one month so you know when when um judy comes in she knows that there's going to be slightly different information and it will prioritize these these documents differently 
So now we've created a flow, we've rearranged it, we've added deadlines. Now, who does that flow go to? If we head on over into the access here, you'll see that this access is very similar to the other access panels, which you'll see across Waybook. Firstly, you can add an individual group. Um, so this basically means let's look at all of the groups that don't have access to this. And of course, this is sales. So we want our sales managers to have read access. Of course, you can actually give your sales managers a, um, uh, edit access to that flow as well, but let's just give them read access for now. And even though he's not in sales, we actually want to give Benji access to that as well. So you can always manually override your permissions if you're not using the group structure, although we always recommend you use that group structure. So now we can just check that that flow is the perfect onboarding information and cadence from the deadline, and we just simply hit activate flow. Now, if I head back over into my dashboard, what you'll see is that we have the sales onboarding. And actually, just because I think it's slightly better documents that I put in it, um, I'll just pause that flow, go back to one. Here's one I made earlier. Um, and I'll activate that sales flow there. And you'll see that actually on my dashboard, all of the incomplete documents push over and flows take precedent on the dashboard here. Now, what's interesting is if I have already been through some of the documents before, it will obviously show my completion status. Um, and if I can click into that flow, it will give me access to all of the knowledge in the order that I need to complete it. And I can simply just click into that one piece of information and it knows that I've come from a flow. So I can always go back to that flow and continue to go back in the order that is the best for me to go through. So ladies and gentlemen, that is your flows. Once you've set that up once, imagine for example, we have a new member joining us within the sales team. All we do is we simply add new joiner, uh, let's call them Jake at waybook.com. Um, Jake, we can actually add into the sales group. Um, and once we've added Jake into the sales group there, that sales group also has access to the flow. So once Jake accepts uh, and jumps in, he will have all of the information that's necessary for him. And of course, the flow, which puts him on the right, uh, the right path with all of the deadlines being relevant to his start date rather than when you created that flow. So I know I've over explained this in multiple different ways, but hopefully you can see the power of how flows can really enhance your onboarding and training within your waybook. The way we have already seen this working is that people will have one core flow per role, but then they also have a couple of additional flows as people change levels, seniority or locations within the business. Now, I hope that helps. If you've got any other question, I can see Elle's actually answering some questions in the chat, which is amazing. Um, so if you've got any other thoughts or questions, please share that and uh, we'll be sure to answer them either myself here or Elle will continue to answer on the chat. Now, next up, we have deep linking into steps. Now, if you are a Waybook user, this will probably mean more to you than if you're not. Uh, and if you don't know what we're talking about when we say deep linking, then here's something that will actually be of uh, value and benefit, I'm sure. So firstly, what we truly believe in is making sure that there is only one version of all of your knowledge within your Waybook. Part of the art of having a really strong Waybook is having this single source of truth, which means that if you have to have one step repeated over multiple subjects or one document over multiple subjects. Uh, sometimes it can mean that you have various versions, they're a little bit complex uh, and a little bit confusing. So we really want to focus on you having really deep interconnected documents and knowledge um, to make sure that you can ensure that single source of truth. So what this actually means is that you can now connect specific steps within other documents. Now, it doesn't mean that you will have that step in the document because otherwise people will start to experience the same content in different locations, which we found um, creates a bit of disengagement. But what it does mean is that you can now link any individual word or anchor text to another step within your waybook. Now, this actually, believe it or not, is already in your accounts. Um, so the way you can access this is highlight any text and click the Waybook link um, and then decide what step you want to link it to. So if I head back into this document here, um, I will jump into purpose and background. Now, if I go into the edit mode, you'll see that I'll be able to make some edits to this content. 
And yes, you know, on this first person background of the business, we talk about Mike and James, the co-founders. So why don't we actually link that individual step perhaps to um, the team? So let's say we know in the team structure, we have a step, which is Mike Bander. And actually, if we apply that link, um, once that's published, it essentially means that clicking on that, that link will take them to that individual step. Now, if you feel like, hang on, doesn't this already exist? In part, it already exists. But right now you're able to connect to a document and it will take you to the top of the document, whereas now you can take them to an individual step. For example, we can connect directly to the mission and the vision or directly to the meet the team or the company organization rather than the document in general. So hopefully that means that you can have really strong interconnected documents as you move forward. Now, um, on to the third and almost final thing we're going to show you today um, is limitless embedding. Now, for those of you who regularly come to this webinar, you'll know that quite often um, I'm sharing the additional embed options, the additional integrations that we've added with into your Waybook account. But in that spirit of ensuring single source of truth, um, and we continue to have requests of people wanting to embed various pieces of information from other tools within their Waybook, we've actually found a way that enables us to embed absolutely everything from absolutely everywhere. Now, the reason why we didn't do that before was because the security of your knowledge and your information is a top priority. Um, so we didn't actually allow other, other tools to embed directly within Waybook, but we've actually worked on a secure and scalable way, which means that you can embed your other existing content into your Waybook. So this is already available within your Waybook account and it's accessible in the content editor within the web embed mode. So I'm just going to jump back into, uh, into the account there and just show you exactly where that is. So for those of you who don't know, if you want to put anything more in your Waybook other than text, you can of course click the plus button here and that plus button will enable you to choose whatever different type of node you like. Or if you do the slash, the slash will actually pull up that menu without using your mouse. And you can actually just type whatever you want. So if I search W, W-E-B, it will pull up that web embed. And then clicking on that means that you can paste that embed code once again from anywhere you like um, across the internet. And that will mean that that is uh, publishable and accessible to whoever has access to that piece of knowledge or content as well. So. The final two things that I just wanted to share with you um, are firstly, speed has had a massive improvement once again. Speed is always um, being worked on in the background here at Waybook. So hopefully you'll notice that, uh, particularly in your search. But just to reminder on two other things, Linkbook is a free tool that we've launched a few months ago. And even though you're very familiar with having your single source of truth, we actually also have free tool, which is Linkbook, which enables you to have your homepage for your company as well. So if you're looking to essentially extend your single source of truth and actually want a single view for all of your essential links for your team or, of course, your audience, if you wanted to use this for social, you can actually go over to waybook.com forward slash linkbook and create your own linkbook, which is like you see here on the left hand side. We've seen people use this in really amazing ways and quite often people will end up having the linkbook page as the automatic general, uh, the auto open tab on all of their organization's browser, which basically means they open a new browser and they've got a very quick access to all of the core tools, knowledge and information that they need to. And of course, quite often that top link is the way book where they can actually find the knowledge rather than just the direction to other things. And the final thing I'll just share with you is our also Waybook data migration. So if you're still getting started with your Waybook and you still have knowledge in various different places, various different locations, then please know that we have full time team members here on Waybook side that are just entirely focused on helping you centralize your existing knowledge. So if you're already thinking, yes, I want to create my Waybook, but I don't actually have the time to prioritize and create those documents then you can literally just send us over all of your knowledge and information um, and we will structure that in a way for you. If you don't have everything, then we also have um, the uh, Waybook consultants that can actually help generate, create and structure that information for you. 
So we are almost done on our time today, but if you do have any other thoughts or questions, please continue to message in the chat and I'm sure we will get back to you um, by the end of the call um, or Elle will probably answer your question before I even get there, if I'm honest. But let's look at what is coming up. Now, many of you will know, and I'm sure have played with Waybook AI. If you haven't played with Waybook AI, I'm sure you've played with other AI tools, but this is a really great way for you to create easy, strong documentation within your Waybook. So when you go over to New Step, instead of clicking New Step, if you go to AI Writer, this will load the AI Writer for you to create a document, an SOP, or an outline for an SOP, so a high-level process. And that's a really great way for you to create um, knowledge and information where you don't need to start from a blank page. But um, in this month, we're also working on the advancements of all of Waybook AI tools. So watch this space. Um, we also have a lot of work going out on search enhancements, which basically means that your team will have faster access to the knowledge they need in lots of different locations. And the big project which we're working on this month is called Document Owners. Document owners will enable you to basically assign the role, the ownership, the responsibility of that document to an individual team member. Um, and that comes with lots of different structures and permissions. We're actually very far into this project and we're really excited to get that to your accounts in the next few weeks. But if you have a very specific requirement of what a document owner is for you, please do message us in because we're always road testing these ideas and getting um, various different uh, ideas and prototypes in front of Waybook uh, customers like yourself. So please let me know if you wanted to be involved in that conversation. And of course, as you'd come to expect, there's so much more happening and we're really excited to get that into your Waybook account over the coming weeks and of course months. So without further ado, that brings us to the very end of our session today. I'd like to thank you all so much for joining me, Elle, and the rest of the team on April product updates. We cannot wait to do it all again with you next month in May. And we really look forward to helping you continue to get your business on the same page. And of course, enjoy some smooth scaling. So thank you all so much for everything you uh, do to contribute to the conversations that happen here at Waybook. And we really look forward to speaking to you soon. If you do ever need anything from us, please do get in touch because we're always here on the other side and love to speak about how you can optimize your knowledge, your information, your onboarding and your training. Thank you very much and have an amazing day. Take care now.